Hi, my name is Sam, and today I'm going to go over how to use the Landmark Align module in Aviso. So the Landmark Align is not automatically included in Aviso, but it is part of the extra library of products. So you can go download that script there and import it in. The module allows you to align any two objects together. So you can either align a grayscale image stack with a surface, a surface with another surface, two grayscale image stacks, two binary image stacks. So really the combinations are endless. And so to start out, we're going to align a grayscale image stack with a surface. So we're going to click open data and we're going to go into data registration and we're going to open chocolate bar part one reference and chocolate bar part two simplified and click open. Then we're going to create a volume rendering for part one and a surface view for part two. So we can see how there's some overlap between these two parts, which is necessary to use the Landmark Align module. So to start out, we're going to search Create Object, and we're going to search for Landmark, two sets. So we're going to set set one to part one and set two to part two, like so, and there we go. And then we're going to open the Landmark Editor by clicking here. So the way the landmark module works is we need to select the same place on both of the objects and then we can align them together using those points as saying those points should be in the same place. So for example, the bottom of this oval and the bottom of this oval are the same. Additionally, this little dot right here is the same as this little dot right here. This, the center of this ball is the center of this ball. So one thing to note is that you need to make sure you click first on the image set one and then second on image set two. The other nice thing about this landmark script is all these points are located on the edges of either the surface or the model. So this means it's significantly easier to create a lot more points. So we're just going to add a as many as we can find. So we have this one here and this one here. And let's just rotate this some more and find a couple more points. So we have this one here, this one here. There is this one here and this one here. And let's see. So you want to make sure you have a good coverage and a good amount of points on each side because even if your points aren't perfectly accurate, hopefully the imperfections will average out between them so that Aviso can still compute a good alignment. So there we go, that's a good amount of points, but there's one more thing I wanna go over before we align them. So let's say I accidentally added this random pair of points and that was by accident and it wasn't supposed to be there, how do I remove them? So to remove them, we go to edit mode and we just go to remove. And then all we have to do is just click the marker we wanna remove and it will automatically delete that mark and the paired mark. So there was, it deleted this, the marker here, even though we only clicked on here. All right though, so that's a good amount of landmarks. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this and search for landmark align, like so. So this is the module that actually aligns the two things together. So, we're going to select the data, the data to transform as the surface. And we're going to select the direction two to one because we want to move this surface, which is two, which is blue dots, to the yellow surface, which is one. So you can also choose the type of alignment and rigid is just simple X, Y, Z planes and rigid plus ISO and affine are more complex and you can look into what they are in the documentation. So now that we're ready, we want to click Compose and it will align the two objects together. So now we can see and check if the alignment was good. So this alignment looks pretty darn good to me. And so the last thing I want you to notice is that now Chocolate Bar Part 2 is italicized. So this means that something has changed in it. In this case, it has been transformed. So if we want to apply this transformation to it, we open the transform editor and then because this is a surface, we can just click this apply transform button. If this isn't a surface, you have to use the apply transform module instead. 
So we click apply transform and this apply transform button does overwrite the current um, coordinates of the surface. So you can't undo it afterwards. So we're just going to click proceed and there we go. Awesome. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.